everyone, I'm Jesse, and this is Steve. He's a cockatiel, and he's just one of the many birds that live at Animal Wonders. I've had quite a lot of interest in an update on the birds, specifically for a room tour or an update on the macaw jungle gym. Now, I'd really like to do a bird room tour, but it's just way too loud in there to even try and talk while we're filming. But I would like to show off the parrots and give an update on the macaw room as well, so let's head on over there. Yeah, that was a good one! Our bird room is right down the hallway next to the reptile room, which is why you can always hear the birds talking when I'm filming in the reptile room. Okay, Steve, let's go say hi to all the birds. So the first room we're going into is the original bird room and it houses temperature sensitive parrot type birds. Zapper the Alexandrian parakeet is to the immediate left, bobbing his head like a little maniac. Zoe and Chago the Amazon parrots are next on the left. And to the immediate right we have Chopsticks the Quaker parrot on top and down a bit is Ginger and Maui the green cheek Conyers. Also on the right side we have Agent Perry the Budgerigar and Steve the Cockatiel lives with her. And down a bit from them is Ecuador and Lulu the Gender and Half Moon Conyers. And at the very back of the bird room, we built a whole new expansion. This gave us a new room and allowed us to take in Scarlet, the green winged macaw, and join Joy, the blue and gold macaw, in an open space with hanging perches. All right, I'm gonna close this door so you can actually hear me talk. No one can get a word in when Ecuador and Chopsticks get going, and then Zoe and Chango, they get going too, and it's chaos. Okay, originally when we built this room, we didn't know what was going to need the space. But once we made the decision to take in Scarlet the Green Wing Macaw, we knew that both of these guys would be moving in. We've had Scarlet for just over a year, and her and Joy have been sharing the space for quite a few months now. While these two do give each other companionship, they have not formed a strong bond with each other. Instead, they both have chosen one of us humans as their partners. Joy is bonded to me, and Scarlett has bonded to Taylor, and they have been making huge progress together. When we moved Scarlett out of her barred enclosure and onto the hanging perches here, she was really nervous and had a hard time maneuvering. She was so used to hanging from the bars of a cage, she would just hook her nails on the top bars and then hang. So she didn't have strong muscles in her legs and toes to grip the perches. She also wasn't used to the movement of the perches as they swayed under her weight. At first, Joy was nervous at the new space too, but she's really gotten the hang of it and she's been working on mastering every new perch that we put in here. Her favorite perch of all of this is that hanging circle swinging perch over there. She loves it. And when the weather is nice, both Scarlett and Joy get to spend time outside in the sun in our new outdoor area. I'm absolutely loving getting them all outside more often. It's been a huge improvement for all of the birds' well-being. As with everything, the macaws were nervous going outside at first, but they quickly got used to hanging out and feeling comfortable without a roof over their head. So I've been pretty busy making the outdoor space safe and making other improvements, and I haven't added another perch in here for a little bit. So I'd like to do that now, and then together we can see what they think of it. While I work on this, I should probably also talk about the rest of the lower room since we've made a few other changes in here too. Sydney the brush tail baton is in the far end of the room. She adores her little alligator pouch. She's nocturnal so she squeezes into it every morning and is just super cozy sleeping all day. Earl Grey and Hazel the dwarf rabbits are hanging out to the side of the door. They got a fancy baby gate installed because they can't be in the same space as the macaws. They've been enjoying the fresh kale we're growing in the garden and they both had full schedules doing public presentations this summer. We're having a pleasantly slow few weeks, so they're getting to just hang out and enjoy life in the slow lane for a bit. And this big enclosure taking up a large portion of the room is Kismet the Porcupine's day quarters where she sleeps since she's also nocturnal. She also gets access to the large dirt floored romping room during the night. All right, I've installed boards on the ceiling secured into the studs, and now I can safely hang some more perching. Joy 
really enjoyed this swing perch, but I haven't had a place to put it since the macaws moved out of their barn enclosures. I bet she's going to love having it back. And I'd like to give them a few other places where I can hang toys and give them foraging opportunities. So I'm gonna put a few more of these places to hang things along the boards. Awesome, that's looking good. And it'll be easy to change things up and add more when I can. All right, let's go check back in with the rest of the birds. and I love them just for who they are. I hope you like this update on the bird room and seeing what's going on with the macaw jungle gym. I thought by now we'd have a whole forest in there, but it's taken them a while to get used to it all, so I've taken it at their pace. Let me know if you'd like to see any of these feathered little cuties featured in future episodes. And if you'd like to send toys or new perches for any of the birds, you can find their favorites on our Amazon wish list. The link is below. If you don't find what you're looking for on the wish list, but you want to give them something anyway, you can mail it to P.O. Box 7833, Missoula, Montana, 59807. And a big Big special thanks to all of our Patreon patrons who support us every month and help us improve the animals' lives and keep sharing them with the world. Thank you. And I will see you next week for another animal adventure. Bye.